This snake, when it was a baby, was that awesome red color that you guys saw in that picture. What is up guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually starting this one pretty late tonight, honestly. I think it's maybe about seven o'clock and it's the night of the Conor McGregor Khabib fight. Uh, so I'm at my buddy Cass's house, but luckily for us, Cass has some awesome green tree pythons as well as a boa. So I'm gonna bring you guys in, show you that, and maybe show you a couple of the antics throughout the night. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get this started. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you wouldn't mind. It'll help out the channel a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so now we're inside and I won't lie, it's a little bit crowded. There's a lot of people here tonight. Uh, this is all the people that I do the reptile gatherings with at the Vista Farmers Market. So my video maybe a month or so ago was me at the Vista Farmers Market uh, with my reptile group. San Diego Reptile Keepers. Uh, it says herpin ain't easy. Obviously herpetology, the study of reptiles. Uh, if you're interested in one of these shirts, they're not mine, but my group does sell them. Let me know down in the comments below and I will see what I can do uh, to get you guys one. But now let's go take a look at Cass's animals. All right, so this is all of what Jay keeps. He keeps four green tree pythons as well as an albino boa. Um, so I will go ahead and try to take out all four green tree pythons so you guys can see them and then get out the boa and we'll have Jay talk a little bit about them as well. All right, so just in the event that I do get bit, I will keep my camera on because I know you guys all love to see me get bit. Yeah, go ahead. That angle to be at. Mm. Almost got me. It was close. The big thing that I want to do is let her kind of, or him, him, her, I don't know. Whatever it is kind of come out to me. I don't really want to try to pull it off. There we go. Alrighty, so this is the first one that we have out right now. You guys saw me trying to get him out. This one's name is Lil Hulk Smash, and it's a male biot green tree python. Uh, so if you've never dealt with green tree pythons they're super super interesting animals they spend most of their time just kind of coiled up like you saw when I was first trying to take them out but uh, me and all of Cass's snakes have an interesting history because I think I've been bit by almost all of them and green tree pythons do not have little teeth whatsoever their teeth are very very big uh, I think second to that only of an emerald tree boa I'm pretty sure for non venomous species at least um, so their teeth are very big. You can kind of tell that just by the size of their heads. Like you can see how big his head is just compared to the back of my hand. So I definitely don't want to get bit. Realistically, it doesn't hurt that bad. It hurts for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and get him back in and I will take out another one. So next up, we're going to take out Logo. And I'll actually show you how Logo got his name here in a little bit. Um, but it's another green tree python. And I want to say Jay has had this one for longer than any of the other ones. Uh, and that's how that logo right there, that is the animated version of this snake from when it was a Neo or a baby green tree python. But let's go ahead and get him out and you'll see the difference. That is actually what the snake looked like. It was actually that red color. And Alex, if you pan up to the wall right there, that red snake at the top right is actually what this snake looked as a baby. Green tree pythons, as they get older, will change colors from either a red or a yellow, and they will eventually change into this green color. They could have greens, whites, blacks, blues, yellows, all kinds of different colors, but now let's go ahead and get Logo out. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna take the whole post out this time just because he already wanted to bite me. So there you go. This snake, when it was a baby, was that awesome red color that you guys saw in that picture. And now you can see he's, ooh, he wants to turn around and bite me right now. So right now you can see that he or she, I'm not sure if this is a male or a female, has all this solid green with a yellow belly and there's honestly a little bit of bluing right down the dorsal. I'm not sure if that's gonna come out in the video but I'll try to color correct it so you guys can see it. Obviously not too happy. That's one thing about green tree pythons is they don't like to be messed with all too much. They're pretty solitary animals. They like to just hang out in their enclosures. Turn around so you can see his head. I'm not gonna try to get this one off the perch just because I, I don't really want to get bit right now. I'm not gonna lie. Big teeth and it hurts. Uh, one really cool thing though, if you look at his head, he's really honed in on the camera, but it almost looks like he has eyelashes, right? Right above his eyes, those two yellow spots. I think that's really cool. But now, before I get bit, let's go ahead and move on to the next snake. Oh, 
Alrighty, so next up we got Pablo, who I want to say is a Sun Glow albino boa constrictor. Um, really, really beautiful animal. His growth is a little bit stunted though because he wasn't very well taken care of when he was a baby, not by Jay, but by who had him before that. Uh, so we'll get him out and you guys can see him. I think one of my favorite animals that Jay has, I really love the green tree pythons, but I like the fact that you can actually interact with the boa without being scared that it's going to bite you. Again, boa still has big teeth, but nowhere near as scary as the green tree python. All right, so this is Pablo, the sun-kissed albino boa. And as you can see, super, super tame, super docile, but super small. This boa is four years old. Generally, a four-year-old boa would be, I'd say, at least 50% larger than this and probably that big around. I used to have a boa that was about five years old that was easily this big around and almost six feet long, whereas Pablo is probably more close to the four or five foot range and nowhere near as thick. So you can see just how beautiful he is, the different yellows and whites, pinks, there's even some reds thrown in. Just a super crazy looking snake. And again, so docile. That's what I love about him compared to the green tree pythons. The green trees are absolutely beautiful looking and they're super majestic to look at, but I'm always kind of nervous taking them out just because I don't really like to get bit. Um, no matter that it only hurts for a second, it still hurts, right? It's still teeth going into your skin. But with Pablo, I'm never worried about taking him out or interacting with it all. Definitely one of my favorite snakes that Jay has. Alrighty guys, we got two more green tree pythons to get through. Jay, what are these two green tree pythons on the left's name? Doja Deuce and Triple L Baby. So we got Docia Deuce or Doja, Doja Deuce, Deuce and Triple L Baby. Uh, Triple L Baby, you might know if you follow the reptile community. Triple L is a huge reptile chain store. Uh, they're based out of actually Oceanside, California, right next to where I live. So in one of my coming videos, I actually have a video planned to go through and show you their whole entire facility and I'll do that. But for now, let's move on to the last two green tree pythons that Jay has. All right, so this is Doja Deuce right here. Doja is just a regular biop green tree python, which is the same as all the other ones that I've showed you so far. Whereas the next one we're going to take out, Triple L Baby, is a biop and Maruke cross. So it's a little bit more of a sought after green tree python, a little less common than a normal biop. But let's go ahead and see if I'm going to get her out with my hands or if I'm going to take out the uh, whole perch that she's on again so I don't get bit. So basically what I'm trying to do right here is just get her to use my hand as a perch. So she'll just come straight out onto my hand and it's not really working but I might be able to still make it happen. All right, so finally got her out. This is Doshia Deuce, the Biak Green Tree Python. Uh, she's not the happiest that I've ever seen her at the moment but she's actually not being too, too bad. All right, so one cool thing about them, if you see her tail right there, how it's black, she actually uses that as a lure to bring in prey so that they won't think she's a snake, so they'll get close, and once they get close enough, she'll actually grab them and, you know, eventually eat them. But that's one really cool thing about green tree pythons is all their tails have this really cool black little lure down at the bottom. I'm really nervous as she's climbing up towards my head because I do not want to get bit in the face. Uh, I'll take a bite in the hand or the arm, but the face would just not feel very great. And Jay just told me oh, that if any of them are going to bite me, it's going to be her. So I'm going to go ahead and throw her back in her enclosure right now just so I don't get tagged in the face. You can keep it on. Yeah, she'd be the one to tag you. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do it without getting bit by a green tree python in the mouth. Last up, we have the Biok and Maruke Cross Green Tree Python. Again, this is a little bit more sought after just because it has two localities, right? When I'm saying Biok, that's one locality. It's a, the Biok Island, whereas Maruke is a separate island. So the snakes look a little bit different. They age differently. The color changes are a little bit different between the two islands, right? You have Biok, you have Maruke, you have Manakawari. There's a bunch of different types of green tree pythons. So this is a Biop and Maruke cross. Let's go ahead and get him out. Super bad spot right now because he could definitely just tag my arm if he wanted to. I don't think he's going to. Seems like he's pretty good. I'm gonna bring his head up a little bit so I can get the rest of his body off of his perch while trying to keep my face a little bit far away. All right, so out of all of Jay's green tree pythons, this one is definitely my favorite. Uh, reason being, I just love the white speckling, as you can see, all down his spine. 
those white speckles. It's usually, it's like one, two, or three scales that are just completely a white color, so it really makes it pop on the green background of the snake. But I think it's really cool, and that's another cool thing that you get with the Bayak and Maruk cake. Thought she was gonna, or he was gonna bite me right there. But that's another cool thing that you get with the Bayak and Maruk cake crosses, is they can just look completely different. You can have some that are completely blue, some that are green like this, some that are predominantly yellow, and some that have way more black than anything else. Um, green tree pythons, you never really know what you're gonna get when they're a baby because they're either that solid yellow or solid red, and they go through this color change at about the one to two year mark. All right, so this guy actually looks like he's gonna poop right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back in, and he is being pretty crazy. Uh, again, I'm gonna try to do this whole video without getting bit, though I know you guys would love to see me get bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back in, and then I'll give you kind of a little overview of all of their cage setups as well. All right, guys, so Jay keeps all of his snakes, or all of his green tree pythons, rather, in Vision 332 enclosure. So it's three feet by three feet by two feet, and he actually modified them if you look up, so there's heat panels right there to keep the snake warm. And heat panels are, in my opinion, by far the best thing that you can do. He's also got some UVB lighting up there, but that's how all of them are set up. They have one thing of like a, a kind of vine wood with some scorched PVC pipes going across, and all of them love to hang out on the PVC pipes. As a matter of fact, there you go. That's what green tree pythons will be doing most of the time that you own them just coiled up on a perch like that. And that's a reason that most people love them. It's just because they're such beautiful display animals. And there you go, there's another one just coiled up. And like I said, that's what they do for most of their lives. They're coiled up on a perch like that, whether it's in captivity or in the wild. But you can see this enclosure is set up a very similar way with the two scorched PVC pipes going across as well as some of the natural plants. Those are actually live plants as well. And then Pablo's cage is a little bit more simple, simplistic and a little minimalistic. It's got a hide form as well as a water bowl. And then you can see Pablo coiled up in the corner right there. All right guys, so that's pretty much all of Jay's collection. For now, me and a couple other members of our group are just hanging out. Uh, we're gonna watch the Conor McGregor fight. And if you guys wanna follow our reptile group, it's SDRK or San Diego Reptile Keepers on Facebook. I'll throw the link down below to our Facebook page. Feel free to like it, check it out. We do everything from the Vista Farmers Market. We do that the first Saturday of every month, aside from maybe like December, January, February, maybe March. Uh, just the cold months because we don't wanna bring the reptiles out in the cold. Yeah. All right guys, so we got lucky and my buddy Robert is actually having to rehome one of his reticulated pythons, and that's this guy right here, Brutus, who you can see is coiled all around me and just kind of going crazy. Brutus is definitely one of our group, San Diego Reptile Keeper's mascot. Uh, he's an amazing snake. He's a dwarf platinum reticulated python. So as you can see, he's right there. I'd say he's maybe like eight, eight feet, nine feet right now. Uh, but I've known this snake for probably four years just he's an amazing snake this is another one that you never have to be worried about right he's literally in my mouth right now and i'm not worried about him whatsoever just because he's so used to people such an amazing animal and luckily though he is getting rehomed he's staying in our group with my buddy alex that's recording me right now so thank you alex for adopting brutus i'm glad that he gets to stay in the group and uh robert his owner is actually standing right to my right that you can see him kind of messing with him right now but yeah another great animal brutus the dwarf reticulated python Alrighty guys, what's up? So it's the next day after the fight. Um, sorry I didn't bring you guys back. We were watching all the different fights and I didn't wanna have you know recording of that and recording of us reacting just because of copyright laws. I don't want my videos to get flagged or taken down or anything like that. It actually did happen to Noah, so I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, let me know down below. Usually the videos that I do with reptiles do way better than any of my other videos. So do you guys wanna see more reptile stuff? Uh, I have a hundred friends around me with different reptiles so I can go to their collections and kind of show them off as well as going to places like triple l but yeah thank you guys for watching this video really do appreciate it if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing it would mean a lot to me like this video if you liked it leave me a comment down below and tell me how your goes dang for now peace